Thanks to Nick Kirkhoff for donating towards this Let's Play. I know you asked for it a bit earlier in the year, but I was currently doing Dead Rising, so I didn't really want to stop one to start another. But you did donate to me, and you asked for a Let's Play of Resident Evil DS. So by all means, your wish is my command. Capcom presents, for Resident Evil's 10th birthday, a port of the original Resident Evil on the DS. The DS? I thought this was the Sega CD. Well, they didn't update the graphics or anything. This is literally a port from the PlayStation version of the game. Resident Evil Deadly Silence. Well, that's good to have it for prosperity's sake. <laughs> Do you want to know something funny about this game? What's that? So... This game came out in 2006 to commemorate the 10th birthday of Resident Evil, right? Sure, yeah. Next year is going to be the 20th birthday of Resident Evil. What do you think they're going to do? Do it again. They better not. <laughs> Resident Evil 3DS. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I feel like we're already starting. Let's, yeah. Whoa. If you... The game becomes impatient if you wait too long on the opening screen and it just plays a demo for you. But it does introduce a couple things that uh, we'll get into when we actually start playing the game. How awesome those graphics look. They updated things from the original PlayStation game. Uh oh. Let's see, uh, Type A, Red Blood, and make sure that microphone can hear you. Can you hear me? So... If you are really bad at Resident Evil, if you hold right on the D-pad and the text turns green, you are now on easy mode for either classic or rebirth mode. Rebirth mode we'll get into when we play it. We're going to save that for Chris, but right now we're going to go for good old-fashioned classic mode. Easy mode, huh? I might have to go with that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good old real-life portraits. Jill and Chris with their stupid haircuts. But, uh, let's rock Jill for a while. Oh, let's, let's rock her indeed. <laughs> uh, uh, you're you're going to love this. Oh, boy. I've never played uh, Resident Evil. I mean, I, I played the GameCube adaptation after getting blown away by Resi 4. But once I got this, I couldn't get used to the tank controls, and I threw it down and never looked back. Well, uh, then you haven't played real Resident Evil, because this is the cheese oh. that people know. Oh, oh. Oh, mm. oh, uh, like you know or something? Uh, well, uh, of course I do. I've played them all. Kinda. No. Oh. The ones that matter. Yeah, yeah. A group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. They all start with this uh, ridiculous, you know, monodramatic text, well, not text crawl, but opening narration. They all start that way. Even the movies. Yep. Uh... It should be known that uh, this is back when there was no quality in voice acting, so everybody's line reading, it's like the first time they've ever read a script before. And, uh... It was Bravo ooh, it's bad. Doctor. It's a golden <laughs> age, man. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> Why? This is the real Resident Evil movie. Ah, uh, this game sucks. This game sucks? What? <laughs> or maybe Chris was looking at the compression because looking at this on a tiny DS screen, this takes all. This all takes place on the bottom screen, by the way. Oh yeah, I can't wait to see this all you know buffed up in 1080p on our uh, gigantic monitors running <laughs> 60 frames per second. Can I give you a bit of trivia for this guy that's about to die? Oh, spoiler alert! He really did die. Um, no, it's a bit funnier. His nickname in Stars the. Uh, special Tactics and Rescue Squad. His uh, his nickname was Dog Food. Then he just got killed by a dog. Like, was that his star's nickname or just the nickname he had, like, in real life or whatever? I think that was his nickname in real life. No! Don't <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, he went and went. <laughs> oh, by the way, zombie dogs. Oh, yeah, that thing. They don't really sell like zombie dogs, though. They sound more like demons from hell, or... They sound like stock sound effects? Yeah. Da da. Ah, it's a house. It's a lovely house. <laughs> it's a house! Get close up on those Rottweiler mouths. <laughs> oh, here we go, the cast! Chris Redfield. <laughs> 
like we're watching a Grindhouse film. I'd say more like shitty 90s TV film, Jill but okay. Valentine. <laughs> and we can run with that. Now airing on the Sci-Fi Channel. Barry Burton. <laughs> Whoa. Barry's ready for action. Alright, alright, no, no, go back and get dressed into a real outfit. Oh, yeah! Look at that. Not evil at all. <laughs> Resident Evil. <laughs> DS! I love that opening. Did they really escape into the mansion? I mean... Oh, they were escaping the dogs. Alright, line reading, ready? What is this? Wow. Subtitles, love it. Didn't have that in the original PlayStation. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? And it's actually good that they did have subtitles in this because Stop. half of the line readings, especially for door. Wesker, sound like he's speaking in the microphone about f five to what ten feet away. You can barely hear him sometimes. <laughs> now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with. I'll go. Can you go? I'll go. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, going back and playing this again, you find out that the script was very, very poorly written or badly translated. Stay alert. <laughs> but the line readings make okay. it all worthwhile. <laughs> He's like, "Stay alert." Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> A dining. Room. No. I'll look at this dining room. All right, so a couple things that were changed from the original PlayStation version. Uh, they added the quick turn from Resident Evil Remake. And oh, I must oh, say, good. it is very, very nice to be able to use the circle pad to move. Otherwise, I'd be using the D-pad. Oh, yeah. Bang! Oh, shit. One of the mainstays of Resident Evil is you have to examine items in order to solve puzzles. But in this game, there are barely any puzzles that require you to examine things. So now I'm just going to look at stuff. They just put it in because this is in uh, the fifth case of Phoenix, right? Right, right. And that right there is a lie. The first aid spray does not heal all wounds. It does not heal poison. But it does bring you back to full health. That's right. Wasn't this original game a little bit uh, cryptic in some of its descriptions and what? shit? What is kind of, but <laughs> most of the stuff is self-explanatory. <laughs> Uh, Jill, see if you can find any other oh. clues. I'll be examining this. <gasps> Hope this is not Chris's blood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this game is amazing. <laughs> and I think that's why people consider it one of the best, even though it's trash. I th I think it's more like a late seventies, early eight, early eighties uh, exploitation horror film. <laughs> it pretty much is. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting here. All right, iconic scene right here. This is what caused people to go crazy scared. Oh. Sorry, this tomato's really juicy. And don't quote me on that, but that clip of the zombie was used in Resident Evil Remake. Hope that was not Chris's corpse. Oh, the, uh, the zombie's AI <laughs> is not too good. I'll get you. Come back here. <laughs> hey, wait. <laughs> I just want to talk about this. Uh, well... Uh, oh, 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 ow! Okay, uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> Look, baby, that wasn't nothing. You're the only one for me. <laughs> yeah, if, uh, this is actually the easiest Resident Evil game to do a pacifist run. One, because the AI can barely attack you, and two, half of the stuff you don't really have to kill. For example, the first zombie, Barry can kill for you. Oh. Well, it saves your ammo, I'm sure. And, uh, should I... I should mention something, too. Barry just used a magnum. Three magnum bullets to take down one zombie. That must have been one strong zombie, then. Yeah, that's great. Step into the mansion, and the first thing you see is a level 80 zombie. Fuck off. Well, actually, in uh, Resident Evil Remake, you couldn't kill the first zombie with the ammo you had. It was a very difficult zombie. They wanted you to go back and trigger that scene. So, the enemy would think that every zombie is like that. Right. See, they're manipulative. Tricky bastards they are. Wesker! I'm over here. Help me look for him, Jim. Okay. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Part of the problem I'm noticing right away is that there's something sparkling there. Yep. 
And it's a lot easier to see in the PlayStation version, I think. Maybe. Because they had, like, better textures and if lighting effects. Find anything in that they had lighting effects. <laughs> Well, it, it actually does help because most of this is pre-rendered, the uh, backgrounds and everything. So they look really good in comparison to the character models. And if you see something that looks like a picture, having something flashing means you know you can pick that up. So it actually is helpful for a game like this. The only way I'll notice it is if it's in, encased in yellow fire. We should start from the first floor. Okay. Let's not talk about the fire effects of this yeah. game. Okay. <laughs> it might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Legendary line. Yep. Have you seen the fifth Resident Evil movie? No, I stopped after Maybe three because they were bad. Four is boring, five is just atrocious. Listen, Barry's in it. If something happens, Hooray. Barry and Leon and Ada are in it. And Jill. That's probably why I won't watch it, because chances are they'll kill off my favorite characters. They killed off Barry. Damn it. Yeah. <sighs> and uh, Barry and Jill are doing a firefight scene, and they don't mention it at all. <laughs> so uh, we got the lockpick, because we are the master of unlocking, but you never get to see that lockpick. You just have to know that you have it. He didn't hand you anything. Pretty much, yeah. Now, another thing that was added to the DS version is the ability to skip transitions through doors. Skip it. Just... It's, because it's a cartridge! No need to load! Exactly! And probably one of the funniest things that I found out while, while doing this Let's Play... Oh no, it's Kenneth! He's dead! His head fell off! He's a shadow of his former self! He's a mere shadow of his former self. Let's he loot his corpse! That, <laughs> he always had that drinking problem, didn't you? Oh, loot his corpse again. He's got 30 handgun bullets on him. <laughs> he didn't use any of them! <laughs> Which means that that slow, drunk zombie was staggering around the wall, <laughs> the, the hallway, hanging just up against the wall. Ah! Oh, God, no! Ah! 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 Help! Ah! Oh, yeah. Uh, Kenneth was a bit of a throwaway character. Sorry, Kenneth. Really chewed the scenery. Boo. Oh. Mm-hmm. Alright, uh, for those of you who haven't played old Resident Evils, the way to save your progress is by ink ribbon and typewriter, which means you have limited saves, which also adds to the survival horror because you need to make those save spots count. What is it with early PlayStation games and being real dicks on the saving aspect? Well, it's mainly for survival horror because you actually have to gauge out where you want to save. Sure. Alright, uh, auto-aiming is nice. Not it's dead. Not dead. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And uh, another thing that was added to this game, Resident Evil 4 had a automatic knife, and oh, they added oh. it to DS. Hey, look at that. So if you press the L button, you have a <laughs> knife, and it doesn't take up inventory space. Well, that's... <laughs> there we go. Something really silly is Resident Evil Remake does not have that feature. I think I'll like this game better, especially if I go on easy mode. It has auto-aim, it has a knife that's with you at all times, it has quick turning. Basically, everything that made Resident Evil a lot better, gameplay-wise, they added to the DS port. Huh, it's like they updated it for the sake of being a good game instead of just keeping it intact for nostalgia's sake. That's very admirable. Way to go, Capcom. Well, the thing that kills me is they didn't add it to the remake. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the, the re-remake, you know? Yeah, that could have been fixed easily. That'd take effort, and Capcom's not one for effort these days. No, they're not. Very sad. Uh, we just got the first floor map, and there's one place I want to show off while we're still on the first floor, and something that you can get very early on. You don't have to, but you can have it. What's Barry doing? He's still inspecting that blood. Uh, he's off doing his own thing. So yeah, split up. That's that's great. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, then again, if he wouldn't, it'd be co-op, so maybe maybe it was a natural progression? Ooh, this game added multiplayer, too. Wait, what? There's multiplayer in this game. That's... Like, what kind of multiplayer? 
I actually haven't tried it because it looks like crap, and you have to have multiple di uh, multiple cartridges to play it. How much is, how much does this game run for nowadays? Probably like ten dollars. Oh, okay. Try to make sure it wasn't one of those uh, sought after classics like Solato Robo. No, 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 no. So you're just doing stuff. I'm not sure what it's doing, but oh, I'll just take your word for it because you played this a billion times. We're solving puzzles. The music notes. Oh, wh what song are we gonna play? Whoa! Oh, the Moonlight, Moonlight Sonata. Oh, okay. That's the one that goes uh, do do da 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 da, right? Uh, no. Okay. You'll be able to hear it now in all of its glory. Glorious DS sound chip. I love the DS, but I hate the sound chip. For some things, yeah. Yeah. Jill, that's terrible. <laughs> There's actually a gag in Chris's story where he doesn't know how to play the piano, so all you hear is wrong notes. <laughs> you can, everyone else in the mansion can hear it, and so Jill's like, <laughs> what is it? Well, that, that's actually funny you bring that up, because uh, Chris has a sidekick in his campaign, and she comes in and says, Wow, I heard that from all the way across the room. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, so uh, we have entered our first secret room. There aren't yeah. too many of them, but just know that there are secret rooms in here. Well, cool. Uh-oh. And now we're going to stay in this secret room. Ah, crap. All because we picked up this stupid emblem. The fire emblem? The golden emblem. Is, that, is there a fire emblem in this game? No. Okay. These are the only emblems we're going to be dealing with. The main mode of puzzle solving will be keys. And emblems. Okay, well, uh... There's something over there. And we'll eventually get into that room. But, uh, I say... Let's go ahead and call it quits for the first episode here. But let me show off something that was pretty unique to Resident Evil. Alternate uh, scenes. Huh. Depending on what you did in the game, you can get different what? types of... Look, scenarios this? will play out differently. What is it? Okay, yeah, blood. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Let's say, for example, what if we're an absolute coward and don't want to go searching? That's what I'd do. Investigate if you hear any gun... Bang! Did you hear how muffled that was? I could barely hear him, and I was playing this with headphones. Did you have a doubt? Go investigate if you want to see him at a cup fire. <laughs> what? Wesker! I can't hear you! Oh, let's, uh, let's wait. I really don't want to go that way. <laughs> Lost courage already? It's not like you. I know what goes on behind that door, man. You don't want to see. <laughs> I've seen it in another universe. There may be more here. There may be, but there probably isn't. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Who is it? Hello! Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, you wow, his AI got better in the cutscene. Run, Jill! He's insane! Ow. So, uh... Ow. Ah. So I guess when you see him at, uh, when he's not done eating, he's so shocked and embarrassed he just stumbles around. Zombies still have feelings, you have to realize this. Zombies are people too. Uh, former people, but still people. Right, right. Oh, well, anyway. So, yeah, there's an alternate opening for that first zombie. Not nearly as iconic. Wesker! So he was the one who lost courage. Uh, yep. And uh, I just wanted to show off, there are two different ways to trigger the next cutscene. You could either go behind the stairs, or you could go up the stairs and right back down the stairs. And that will... That'll be enough to let Barry know that you have searched the entire hall. Find anything, Joe? Nope, nothing here. Let's go. <laughs> and if you skip that cutscene where he says he gave you the lockpick, the game will actually tell you that he gave you something, that you got the lockpick. So that's kind of good, because if you accidentally skip the cutscene and didn't hear that he gave you the lockpick, you're going to be stuck. So good job, guys. You're going to hear our cutscenes and like it, goddammit. Actually... Only in this game, they were able to skip cutscenes. But, hey, look, the zombie actually finished. Oh. Huh. His legs are gone. Now he's now he's only half the man he used to be. And you know what this means? 
we can't loot his body. Aha, right. Because you probably wasted all your ammo trying to shoot the zombie the first time, so he gives you an ammo refill. It's like, oh, okay, I see. Ha. Ah. Back when games had great design. I miss those days. They actually punish you for being a coward. <laughs> ah, Jill, you got green blood on you. Yep, and just to, uh, let's, ha a good way to end the episode is dying. And, uh, right there on the top screen, it actually shows you what your health is at, and getting hit from the back is a death sentence. That zombie was hungry. Back attacks do so much damage. And this will probably be the only time you see me die, by the way. Why is there green blood? <laughs>